Yo, yo, man, you already know who the fuck it is, man. You already know the fucking vibes, man. Hey, Summer Madness 10 was a fucking crazy event, man. Crazy event. I'm not gonna even lie to you. This shit was fucking bonkers. It's a lot of battles I thought was gonna be trash, but them shits end up being stupid. But hey, let's get in motherfucking to it. I ain't putting these motherfuckers in order. I'm just gonna say what the fuck I need to say and get us the hell up out of here, alright? Hey, man, shout out to the motherfucking go to this shit shout out to the motherfucking legend of this shit k motherfucking shine man i gotta give your motherfucking props out the motherfucking gate nigga you was teaching that little boy a lesson man you were showing that little boy something you were showing everybody something you showed everybody it can't nobody fuck with you when it comes to this small room shit even when it comes to the big room shit you just letting them know that can't nobody fuck with you then they want to do kings versus queens k shine versus a queen is gonna kill somebody lord I want to see K-Shine versus Tory Doe for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to K-Shine, man. I'm sorry, but Chess, K-Shine just whooped your ass, boy. I'm sorry. Even though you was a good chest, you was a good chest. I ain't going to lie. It was a good chest. It was like some nice breasts. It was a real good chest, man. But K-Shine just got you in that headlock and said, listen, son, I'm going to show you how to do this, all right? Shout out to K-Shine. He the motherfucking GOAT, man. I ain't even like K-Shine at first, but he just proves more and more today. He just makes me a more and more fan of him, man. That boy did a good thing. He's a great battle rapper. He fucking cooked that boy. Shout out to motherfucking B-Dot, man. That motherfucker did his thing in T-Top, man. I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was like, T-Top, B-Dot. Oh, I guess because they, you know matching names type shit that's why they did the battle i didn't really understand where it came from but then i realized that both of them do angles so i was like hey this could be an angle battle they can angle here angle there let's see who's gonna do the best all right so we're gonna see what happens boom t-top goes angles out the gate you know football this football that you know doing his thing b dot goes you know what i'm saying boom 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 he throwing angles in there you know boom 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 hey all i know is b dot was cooking in that bitch. I got B dot in the first round and B dot in the third round. He was just different, man. I know everybody talking about he a baby Lux and he does kind of move like Lux with the energy, you know. But hey, that's I feel like Lux is just one of his mentors, one of his uh people he look up to, man. I just feel like he just took a little bit of what he liked and then put his own little shit to it. Just like Twerk did with Perez Mafia. You know, he took some of his shit he liked, put his own little twist to it, and boom, you got Twerk Mafia. Twerk is Mafia, whatever the fuck you want to call him. But hey, and that's what it is. Shout out to B Dot. Shout out to T Top. Both y'all did y'all thing. It was a crazy motherfucking battle. If you're saying T Top won, I ain't mad at you, but you really kind of tripping type shit, you know. But hey, it is what it is. Shout out to B Dot. You got that shit. Read motherfucking dollars. Read motherfucking dollars, man. That boy showed up. You hear me? That boy showed up. You hear me? Everybody counted that man out against Nitty. Everybody said New York was going to come in there and gun bar that nigga to back to Philly. Everybody had that man losing. That man came in there and 30 30 30 that boy the third round nah nah had a little stumble so you know if you want to give an idiot the third okay 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 yeah but you lost you lost nitty you lost i'm gonna keep it a buck with you and i'm a nitty fan i was going for nitty in that battle i'm a nitty fan ain't no biasness over here i was a nitty fan but you lost that battle. Reed was different. Reed was cooking. He leveled up in that bitch. You hear me? It was just a different Reed. I was like, whoo. And I fuck with Reed because, you know, for my own little reasons, I fuck with Reed. You know, but hey, he did his thing, man. I ain't going to even lie to him, man. That shit was crazy nuts. Shout out to Reed. Shout out to Nitty. Both of y'all did y'all thing. Motherfucking Calico. Motherfucking a -verb. First, I was like, oh, man, it's going to be a crazy one. You got both of these niggas who used to have shortcuts. Now that both of them got dreads, both of them had baby faces. Now both of them got beards. I'm like, oh, it's the battle of the, it's the battle of the, um, puberty. It's a battle of puberty right now. You know, who got the best beard? Me. Who got better dreads? Me. And, you know, Calico shit's kind of bald. I don't know if it was bald or just had them together. Aver got fucking 
20 million dreads sticking out the back of a snapback. Tried to get the snapback off. Couldn't even get that bitch. I was like, boy, you out here wilding. But, hey, you know, Calico went the first time. I was like, yeah. You know, but I, I was feeling that shit. A lot of people weren't feeling Calico first round. A lot of people weren't feeling the second round. But I was feeling that shit. Calico was talking to that nigga, man. I'm sorry. It's just a difference. Calico was talking to that nigga. Aver, you need to go stand in the mirror and learn how to point your gun at people, man. Because I don't know. When you point your gun, you just look weird doing that shit. I don't know what's up with that. But, hey, that's just the way I, I just see things different. I don't know. But shout out to Calico and shout out to Aver. Got Calico winning that shit, man. But both of y'all did y'all thing. But I just got Calico winning that shit. They ain't put no fan vote up for that battle. I don't know what happened. I guess they just ain't want niggas to vote. But... Calico definitely would have won that vote, I feel like, man. Shout out to Calico. You did your motherfucking thing. You got motherfucking, um... Homes in the Garden, Bill Collector. Didn't really care about that battle too much. Not really a fan of neither one of those guys. But, hey, Homes, he won. Ain't no debate in him. It was a judge battle. He got the money. He won. It is what it is. I was kind of going for Billy Otto, the, the Dino, your favorite African-Americano. You know, Baby Fart, McGee Zacks, whatever you want to call him. But... I just was just going for Bill, but he lost, so it is what it is. Like I said, not really a fan of either one of those guys. You got motherfucking Geechee and Clips. I ain't gonna lie, Clips came out cooking, man. First, I thought he was crying for real when he was talking about his grandma. I was like, no, this man didn't just come out here and start crying. Even though it's for his grandma, I feel him. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but come on, man. You gotta hold your composer, but it turned out it was just part of the show. Clips did his motherfucking thing. I got Geechee winning that motherfucking second. Then they went to the third. I mean, I got Geechee winning the first, and they went into the second. You know, I guess it just depends on who you like. Both of them niggas was cooked, and if you're saying Clips won, I ain't mad at you. So, you know, we're going we gonna to say Clips won the second. Um, Coming to the third battle, Clips, was, I mean, third round, Clips was, Clips was doing his thing, but then he motherfucking choked. But then after he choked, he got it back. He started walking around and talking about shit and telling John John to stand up and this is why I'm I buff you and you know he was he killed that shit. I ain't gonna lie. He killed the freestyle after he choked. But come on guys, he choked. Let's stop stop playing. I know people can get it back, but if the person if your opponent has a flawless round, he won, bro. Let's stop doing this. Stop I, I know his grandma died, y'all giving him pity probably. I I I get it. It's a pity party. But I'm not with the pity parties. Clips, you lost that round. I'm sorry. Uh, you did the fire comeback, fire freestyle. I'm not going to lie. You did your thing. You did a nice comeback. But you choked. Gotti was still fire in his third round. He, You know, you challenged Gotti to see what he could do in his third. And he turned around and did the same freestyle as you. You know, he freestyled, walked around. He did the same shit. It was just a fire battle, man. But I got Geechee Gotti winning that first and the third. But, hey, if you, I see people saying Clips won. So, hey, it is what it is. If y'all think Clips won, then, you know, I guess I ain't too mad at you. So, what? Who was that? Who I say? Homesy and uh, Bill Collector. I said K-Shine and Chess. I said Geechee and Clips. I said A-Verb and Calico. And um, Reed Dollars and Nitty. Like I said, Reed Dollars went stupid in there, man. Reed Dollars went... That's y'all better watch out for that boy. Watch out for that boy. And I've been seeing the uh recaps and shit. Shout out to Gems, man. I fuck with that boy. Everybody go follow, subscribe to Gems channel. He does real good uh battle rap content. Shout out to that guy. Uh but um I see a, a lot of the recaps and who the fuck is K Walker? I mean, because he taught, like, he, like everybody just know him. I know he get co-signed from his Philly boys, but K. Walker, you are garbage. I'm here to tell you, you're garbage. You're garbage. I can't rap. I know I'm garbage. I'll say it. Well, I ain't going to even say that because I can rap a little bit. You go check my other videos out. You'll hear me. But anyway. K. Walker, when it comes to battle rapping, man, I don't know. I just ain't heard nothing from you, man. And I try to check you out because I heard people giving you cosigns. I heard Reed Dollars gave you Cassidy gay. The nigga was giving you cosigns. So I was like, let me go check this guy out. Nigga, you suck. So I don't know what you be talking about. But anyway, we ain't on him. He ain't even battle. 
Shout out to Reed Dollars. You did your motherfucking thing, man. I ain't gonna lie. So again, K Shine and Chess. K Shine whooped that ass. Chess got some problem with with choke. It's like he when he rapping, it's like his words come from his stomach up out his mouth. But his words get right here and he just I mean, if you know, he be like, I don't know what he be doing. Like, you need to fix that shit, Chess. Clean that shit up, man. I don't know what. Like, this is battle rap. You have to rap. You have to rap, man. Come on, dog. You got so much potential, man. You had so much potential. What's going on, Chess? He was a fire Chess, but k Shine was just different, man. He's on a different level. Got a new, uh, got the, uh, the, Announcement Tay Rock versus Murder Moot is gonna be crazy one. Except Briz ain't gonna be there, but it's gonna be a crazy one. I did want to see Briz versus Moot, but hey, I'll take Tay Rock too. Shout out to the motherfucking subs, man. Shout out to everybody who subscribed. We finally passed 200 subscribers. To me, that's major. I didn't it. Like I said, I never thought I would get past 30 subscribers, let alone 200, man. So we moving on up in this world. We doing big things. I got some more big shit coming for y'all, man. Y'all already know my motherfucking Lakers coming tonight. You already know we gonna blitz they ass. But you know, if we do blitz them, you know, I'm back on here talking my shit. You already know how it go, man. We out this bitch. Catch y'all on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my YouTube, man. Hit the cash out. Whatever you want to do, man. Salute all the subs again. I love y'all, man. Catch y'all on the next one. We out this bitch.